and follow Gu'un, the tree, son, and children in Chamorro Village, features the Ifit wood carvings of owner Mary Camacho Antalan, an army retiree, Guam's only woman Ifit carver, who learned the craft from her grandfather and her father, and is now passing it on to her granddaughter. The shop is tended by 18 of Camacho Antalan's young relatives, her three sons, nieces, nephews, and cousins. The store has been at the location since the village opened. Mary is with me now, and here is some of her wonderful art. Mary, and congratulations to the recently married Mary Camacho Antolan. Thank so you. congratulations and blessings to you. Thank you. Okay, we have here, obviously, there is just a little bit of your amazing, wonderful local art and everything. So um, a lot of it is carved with uh, ephit wood. For people who don't truly know, what makes ephit such a distinct wood to work with? Well, number one, ephit is known to Guam as the Guam Territorial tree of the island, as well as it being indigenous uh, to our island, it is also one of the hardest wood in the world as shown or told by Guinness Book of the World. Mm -hmm. And how exactly do you harvest the ephid wood? Because um, you were sharing a story with me earlier about exactly how long of a process it's been to have the material to work with. Um, it takes a while to harvest the wood, but it, to process the wood, you start from the tree, the raw logs, and then, of course, I would have to use a um, chainsaw to the table saw to the planer to all that it takes to include jigsaw and then replane it, buff it, sand it. So it's a long process, but by the time I get into my carving, it takes another 13 hours. So um, overall, it would take like good three days to do a real good carving in a 3D session. That just seems absolutely amazing because even the piece you're holding right there, um, you're saying these pieces, you know, maybe take half a day's worth of work and everything. These are amazing works of art. I was thinking, you know, maybe it takes a couple months or even a few weeks at the, at the least and everything, but you, you knock these out pretty quickly. Yes, I am pretty much experienced. I use it as my um, means of tranquility, so in that manner, it's just I go, go, go. I basically marry my ephid wood, and <laughs> I hate to say this, but I do enjoy doing it. So out of my passion, doing this, I don't clock myself anymore. Well, that's wonderful. Of course, you know, they say find a job you love to do, you never have to work a day in your life. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and obviously here too, we have some wonderful coconuts that you have uh, prepared. You know, um, tell us a little bit about, about this piece. Okay, this is our Guam coconut, of course. We have from little after typhoon all the way to our large ones, and these are really found in the southern versus the northern. Um, I do my painting without drawing and just expanding my horizon to have different perspectives. And therefore, I drive out different versions and preferably the legends of our island. Mm -hmm. For the love of our culture and island, it just, my hands just goes. Now, I must ask you, as an artist, and obviously you're very technical and you're very skilled at the entire process of working you know, with the coconut and with the ephid, do you normally go into a project with a design or with a concept in mind already, or do you just kind of approach things sometimes with a blank slate and just say, let me, let me see where my art takes me and let me, let me recreate our island and express our culture in that way? Well, w normally I would just, uh, I'll, take, I'll take people's orders and their pictures, but I don't make it a common practice basically because I do not like copying people's work. Mm -hmm. So I just do as, as my feelings, I follow my feelings. And it normally happens, my painting vision comes out around two to three o'clock in the morning. It's just ironic because it's my time to do my shishi. Mm -hmm. So when I get up, I'm just awakened to just go away with my paints. All right. So I don't normally just sit and think. It just comes naturally. Okay, well, where can people find these wonderful creations and how can they contact you? They can contact me at Chamorro Village for seven two six three one three. Okay, well, Mary, and it's located at Ifit Adults and Famagun. All right, Mary, this is absolutely wonderful. We're going to talk to you some more, but we are going to go to commercial. Thank you once again, and congratulations on your wedding once again. Thank you. All right, and stay tuned because we will be back right after this amazing work. Please go down to Chamorro Village and check it out today.